Danny Sarles, my address is 1001 Knights Ridge Drive, Rutledge, Georgia. I'm a pastor of Shallow Baptist Church at the corner of Post Road and Highway 142. I've had the opportunity to address you folks before on this issue. And my, uh, my mind has not changed one bit. I have been in the ministry now for 28 years, three years as a youth pastor, 20, almost 25 years as a senior pastor. Uh, I am a, gen, from a generational, generation after generation of alcoholics. My dad was an alcoholic, and I was headed in the same direction. I did live right below the Cafe 142 bar until about four, maybe five years ago. Uh, we do a, a lot of outreach toward children and youth on Saturdays now, every Saturday. Currently, there are over 370 ball players there and uh, a lot of traffic on our end of the county. In the past, when the bar was open, uh, there was times when the motorcycle traffic was stopped on the highway out there for them to enter and out, uh, come in and out of the highway. Now, I am a motorcycler. I haven't uh, had one now for two years, but in the past, I've always had a motorcycle and rode in large rides. But... Uh, there's so many kids and families that are involved in that area and with alcohol and everything being consumed right there, it, it puts the kids of Jasper County and of our church in great danger. We had, uh, and I realized that the accidents that happened at the ball field, and I addressed you on this and you took care of that and I appreciate that. We, we've had accidents that where people have come around the curb and hit into the fences on the ball field and that was due to ice. But there is still that potential for the danger with the alcohol being that close and the things that are happening in that place of uh, being uh, accidents and all there. Um, it was on a Sunday night. We were in the church and we were having our regular service and it sounded like someone was right outside the door with a large speaker and was just boom, 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 boom. And uh, I went out to see if someone had pulled up with their stereo on. And the bar is one mile away. It's not even quite one mile. It's right at one mile. And it was just like they were sitting right there on a Sunday evening. And now this is disturbing. And, and it's disturbing when you're in the church, but when you live right there in the neighborhood, such as Ed Lou Allen and uh, Bob Edson and others, Man, they, they really have to listen to all this stuff, and that's not what they're wanting to hear. They want to have peace in their neighborhood, just like you want peace in your neighborhood. Uh, I just, I'm against it uh, from the beginning, and I'll always be against it. I'll be here in two weeks, and I will speak again. I apologize for not being here at 9 o'clock this morning. I found out that you had the meeting. I heard about it on Saturday, and I already had an appointment. And I was on the way to Atlanta when I found out that you were going to talk about it at 10 o'clock and I turned and come back here because I feel that it's that important that our voice be heard that we the people on that end of the county and I no longer live there but I'm there every day we don't want this and we're asking you to just say no we don't we don't want it we have time oh I got a time <laughs> thank you thank I you need you much. on Sunday how about come to church so you can tell me what's time to fit on <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you've got enough people already telling me that. They don't tell. 